Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and this is part 7.5 of my Let's Play of Momless Quest Paradox RPG Confrontation Chapter. Today we're doing an Elias aside, going into Esta to see what happens when we encounter the boss. Elias doesn't have anything different from Alice to say here, and definitely nothing to say in here. And Rafael and Sasha are the same as well. It's a nice world, really. I'm just choosing the wrong answers for the hell of it. If you agree with Rafaela, she says I'm, she says Luke is a good child, and the highest seat is reserved for him in the heavens. Anyway, child of judgment, the time for decision, the time of decision is coming soon. Okay, so we're back. So what did you just stand? Come to a standstill for there, Luca. Are you alright? So he explains his whole vision. Hmm, how strange. Then there was the angel and monster he discovered. Now, in Alice's route, she comments on Sasha, the monster. But Elias here will only comment on the angel, Rafaela. Rafaela. I should say it like that. Anyway, she says it's one of the seven archangels. And her name, Rafa Rafaela, really does seem like the kind of name that she would pick. So, are the angels really behind this? We better investigate. You are all out of order here. Okay. Hmm. That took long enough. So, same thing here. It's a big hole we can't go in. Now, the same earthquake, but... A different angel comes out. Yeah, I know it's no big thing. But anyway. You guys, what are you doing here? This is an important location. It's not somewhere that it's okay for filth to be, to be loitering around. Once again, this is the Seraph Shion. What are the angels up to? Keeping her out of the loop and everything. But, is there any need to explain all these little things to you people? How could you say such a thing to her? Even though you are a mere angel, you are speaking irreverently towards the goddess Ilias. Ah. But the Ilias to whom she has pledged her loyalty isn't this one. Not me. In that case, another. Is anybody surprised here? I mean, aside from Elias, I mean. Furthermore, Shion says she is different from Gnosis. Even if you are an Elias from another world, she is not going to feel any restraint in beating the crap out of you. So, time for Heaven's Judgment. All of you, she'll beat the crap out of. So, as expected, they're from a parallel world, and Elias created them. But to attack her, it is the apex of insolence. Well, time to fight. Oh, she um, is going to be a little bit kind here. Elias, 
at least this Elias, she let off only knocking her unconscious. As for the rest of you, I'll slaughter you all. Yeah, with angels like this, who needs demons? Well, not bad, you know how to fight. It looks like Sion will have to get a little bit serious. Well, her power... It's certainly on the level with Eden. So, yeah, Seraph level. To us as we are now, there's no way of winning. Luke asks about this vision he had. Oh shit! You know about that? Don't tell me you were drawn in there. Yeah, I went there. Rafaela, etc. I see, so that's how it is. If you are that, then... There's no excuse for me killing you here. Hero Luca. The time of choice shall come. So, before the world is destroyed, you need to choose between light and darkness. Interesting. The world's destruction? The time of decision? What the hell does Luca mean to that alias? Ignoring the question. Later, hero Luca and your band of merry men. Soon the time of, ju time of decision will be coming. You can look forward to it. No explanations. Funny how these people know so much, but they tell us so little. So, better go report to the Queen, etc. Elis reminds him about Udine's contract. Sonia calls up the fact that Elis used to be opposed to these contracts with the Four Spirits. Well, as a matter of her heart sentiments, yes, she is strongly opposed. But, in order to better approximate the true history, we should consider it something important that needs to be done. Okay, so... A short episode this time. But we needed to get Elias, or Shion, out of the way. So, next time we'll continue in the regular path and see what's in Undine's spring. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.